Want to avoid getting scammed? Keep watching. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. I want to ask you something, Body. Did the Walt Disney Company lose 23 million subscribers after trying to cancel Elon Musk? No, that's not true. This claim appeared in an article on a satirical website known for publishing fabricated content. That's good context. The website has a disclaimer that reads, everything on this website is fiction. Looks like the only thing that got lost here was the credibility of the people who fell for this piece of satire. I've got a question for you. Can Americans in need get $5,000 in cash for free through the American Emergency Fund just in a few minutes? No, that's not true. The website named in this offer gathers sensitive personal data from applicants for a supposed personal loan and then shares it with a broad range of unidentified entities. What else have you got there? This practice may expose people to identity theft. Remember folks, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Always be cautious when sharing personal information online. Let's talk about this in more detail. Does a New York Post headline claim that James Gordon Meek, a former investigative journalist for ABC who pleaded guilty to child pornography charges in September 2023, also debunked the Pizzagate conspiracy theory? No, that's not true. Such a headline never appeared in the New York Post. How do you keep finding all this? Additionally, there's no evidence that Meek ever wrote a story about Pizzagate. Looks like someone got their wires crossed on this one. Remember, always double check your sources before sharing a story. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.